What's up, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors? Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch action figure review. This time we got number 78, Han Solo Mimbin in his uh, Mud Trooper armor from that sequence in Solo, a Star Wars story. <clears throat> really great looking figure. I'm really excited to have this one. I want to get a couple more to create them as just standalone uh, Mud Troopers. So the back gives us a little plot. Um, after getting kicked out of the Imperial Academy, Han Solo found himself dumped on Mimban as a mud trooper. While there, Han met an Imperial prisoner named Chewbacca in an encounter that would change his life. Let's move the box on and let's get into the figure. It's a really, really good one. It's got so much detail. So much cool stuff going on. Looks really good. I really, I, I just, I love that helmet with the mask and the and the goggles over the top. Get a look at the blaster. <coughs> there is actually a little sliding mechanism on there, which I almost lost. So I'm not 100% sure exactly what that does. I will do some homework afterwards. Should have done the homework before. Never mind. So it's a cool looking blaster. It's almost got the basis of an E11 there. If you take a look at that. Without the stock. The extended barrel. It's very much got the basic elements of an E11 there. So let's take a look at the figure and some of the details, nice tight joints, always a good thing to take out of the box is a figure with nice tight joints. He's got a big chest plate which is battle worn, all the paint on the forearm there is coming off. Sort of muddy boots. They look good. They're sort of thrown on sort of poncho with a hood. Very filthy and weathered, looks great. And that just literally just hangs over the top of the shoulders. You know, there are some little little notches and pegs in the top there, but they don't sit there overly well, so they're meant to pop into those little little bits and they will but it takes a little bit get a look at the helmet dirty weather weathering on the top there Just weathering around the side breathing tubes going into the life support system on the back there take off the goggles they look good Pop this mask forward, and there we have Han Solo. You can just take that off. They just, they just pop out. So that fits pretty snugly onto the onto his face. If we just move the chin strap up, we can pop this helmet off, and we get. On Solo with some sort of wet, muddy looking hair. I've seen a couple of people do the head swap. Um, I have seen some pictures that I didn't think this head sculpt looked as good as it actually does in person, so I'm glad, I'm glad it looks as good as it does. Quite a stern look on his face. Looks good. I, I do prefer it with the helmet on. So uh, until I get a couple of couple more, I'm going to try. And, I'm definitely going to try and get a couple more. Um, so until I get a couple more to keep as just mud troopers, I'm going to leave this this one with the uh, mask on as a mud trooper. So I think that's my uh, display priority over over the Han Solo in armor. 
So how good does that look? Looks tough. Really, really impressed. So articulation-wise, it's got a ball-jointed head, ball-hinged shoulders. Uh, not sure about the neck. I don't think so. No, just the head. Uh, hinge at the elbows, which no, they bend it. They bend massively. Lots of bendiness. <laughs> Torso joint, uh, hips, swivel cut thighs, double jointed knees, and ball hinged ankles as well. And the pivot joint. As most figures do have now, which is great. So very excited to have this one in the collection. He looks so good. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until my next video, we've got one more for this wave. Dryden Voss. Stay tuned. And may the force be with you.